Welcome to my artist pod. My name is Martin. I decided to do a weekly pod where I talk a little bit about my music and my art and the process behind it. And I will try to not keep it too pretentious, you know. I think artists take what they do too seriously. And it's important to get away from that a little bit and, and um, look into the process itself and what it actually means to do what you do and why you do it. Because that question, why, is the most important thing with, with the whole thing. It's not something I ask myself so much anymore because when you get a little bit older and, and you go through all kinds of changes in life, you start to do just what you do. I, I mean, just work basically and you're in the process and that's one of the most fulfilling feelings you have as an artist that you just do what you do and you do what you believe in and uh, that belief part that that you, you you try to believe in it and and you believe in what you do but still it's very very difficult because there's so many challenges you have as an artist and it's it's the money it's always the funding it's always the money always the same problem but nevertheless you still do what you do and, and, and try at least so hard you can with all your heart and all your soul. And I think that's what matters at the end of the day in a way. So in this part, I will share some of this process with you. Right now, I'm, I'm working on, um, on a single uh, to my upcoming album that I will release in 2021. And dear God, I hope that 2021 will be a better year than 2020 was. And um, the upcoming album will be different from the first one. If you haven't heard the first one, the first one is called Queen of Stars. You can find it on Spotify. You can find it in, in all my Instagram links. And um, you can find it on YouTube as well. It's an album where I try to explore more of the neoclassical music. And in that particular area, uh, I try to discover if I can do something that you know, had this classical touch, but still in my own way, in, in, in musically more like singer-songwriter style, but still with that touch of Debussy, with a touch of Satie. And it's a mix between that and, and Kate Bush and Elton John and, and other artists I really look up to, like Tori Amos, for example. So I made my small contribution into that world and with my first album, Queen of the Stars.
If you want to listen to the whole album, you can find it in the links. Right now I started to work a little bit different with the neoclassical music. I tried to make some new compositions that are a little bit more mellow, a little bit more thoughtful maybe, a little bit darker, but still kind of have the same poetic style. So I will actually let you hear something that I call Soulful Solitude, where I experiment with quite simple chords, some quite simple harmonies. I'm trying to work with very kind of simple elements that I bring together. We'll see how this one goes, but uh, that's what I'm, I'm doing right now. So here it is. So that was the beginning of my song, Soulful uh, Solitude. So now to something different, um, which is the next song, and that will be The Illusion. And um, I work really hard with it. I'm not yet there, but I'm, I'm closing in. And The Illusion is actually a song about lost love. It's a song about not finding love. And you know, these songs, I mean, People have written one billion of these songs, so I don't know, or one zillion maybe. But hopefully it, it fills some kind of niche. Um, I mixed it uh, with a kind of 80s sound and, and also the visual style is very much, you know, 80s. There's a lot of plate reverbs and, and the EQs are very like typical 80s. Because I, I really wanted that 80s style, but also because I've been inspired by, by synthwave and retrowave uh, music a lot. If anyone hear this who makes synthwave music and it's good, send me a message and I, I can come and sing on your album if you need a tenor. Because um, I, I really fall in love with the synthwave music. And I also think that when you work with ballads, the illusion is a ballad. When you mix uh, with the sounds from the 80s, it, it kind of really sits well with a song like that, the, like The Illusion. In the 80s, some things were really good and some things were really bad. Some of the music were really bad, actually, but the sound was very like epic and big and, and also pretty. You wanted to 
escape a little bit to another world. You wanted to have your fantasy, your dream. You wanted to imagine something better, something more beautiful. In, in that sense, it was a time when people still had their dreams. And then you kind of wake up in 2020. It almost feels like we're doomed, you know. So maybe it's better to make a song instead of become a doomer. <laughs> so that, that, that was kind of the reason why I wrote this song. But you, you, you will figure this out yourself. That let's hear a little bit from, from The Illusion. Time goes on No matter what you do You know How tough It is to lose Your own dream So a few seconds from The Illusion. This is, of course, one of many songs on the new album. And right now I'm in the process of writing new songs. I'm not yet there to say that, you know, these are the songs that will be on my album. It will take a little bit longer to get to that point. I'm, I'm gathering ideas, melodies, harmonies, all kinds of things that I can come up with. For the process, it's, it's always better to work with an open mind and an open heart and and just see where it takes you basically so we'll see but some things that change from from the first album this is that i have a little bit of different approach and it's a little bit more pop i wouldn't say commercial it's more like easy listening and uh, the the other one was the complicated one and this is the easier one. Often with artists, they, they start with the, the easy album and then it comes this kind of second album, which is the complicated one that, that you have to listen to many times before you get it. Um, I'm just doing it the other way around and, and make this one less complicated. So what I'm basically doing is I, I, I work with fewer chords. I work with a little bit simpler chords. I work in kind of common minor scales. And, and simply not try to complicate stuff too much. What you get from working like that is that you get melodies that are often simpler, but in a way also stronger. The problem is that if it just becomes too simple, it's very easy to kind of see the construction of the music, if, if you know what I mean, that you actually see how it's made. And when you see how it's made or how it's constructed, this goes for any art or any music or poetry, or you start to not like it so much because there has to be some kind of magic to it. There has to be maybe some kind of mysticism in the work you do, not to make it magic because it has to be magic, but somehow everything cannot be too visible because then it's easy to decode. When something easy to decode, it's like exciting for one second and then it's dead, basically. It becomes boring. So that's the, the most difficult part of this process. Write songs that are simple in their nature, but at the same time have some kind of mystical and magical vibe. <laughs> and, and just not too simple and, and not too direct, but still direct. So songwriting can be very complicated and sometimes it's more complicated to make simple things than make difficult things or complicated things. So that was this week's pod. Um, I want to thank you for listening to it and um, uh, please subscribe and follow on Instagram and Spotify and YouTube and, and here on the podcast channel. I will be back next week and I will talk about poetry what I'm writing on, and about poetry in general. See you guys. <laughs>